everyone. So I got to tell you something here. This is a witness for God, the Lord, the angels, and also they know what's happening and everything anyway, but for witness for us, the people. Um, I want to show you something. Explain this. Okay. So we have these cats here, right? And there's over 20 of them. There's some quite a fence because uh, I had to do some things, clean up some place. So I'll explain it here in a minute. But you got these poor cats, okay? And there's food bowls and water out there. Some lady apparently helps take care of these cats because the families that live behind here are extremely poor. And they, uh, you know, there's free neutering services now. And, uh, but they don't take care of these, these cats, she was telling me. So, um, so these cats hung out here for food because they're so hungry, okay? Now, here's the thing is that's sad about this is that these people behind here, it's not even a race thing. She told me it's Hispanic, it's white, it's all races, that they're poor. That is true. You know, we, a lot of us, I'm considered poor. I mean, used to be rich. But here's the thing is, if you're not taking care of even the animals, and a lot of these have children, I guarantee you that these children are not being taken care of either behind this wall. Now, we're not going to judge it, and probably some are, that they just couldn't, you know, some people have pets and they can't take care of that extra cost of an, a pet. That's why even when I was had my children in my house, some of these pets are very expensive to take care of, especially the exotic ones. Like even horses, you own a horse, it's going to cost you a ton. That's why people even rent horses now in Colorado. But anyway, you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars of shots and everything else for horses. Now here's the thing is, so we have these homeless cats that weren't neutered and, you know, they became homeless. My heart's kind of broken for them. I mean, they're probably enjoying it out here, but, you know, they have companionship amongst themselves amongst other cats, but they don't have that human companionship because they've been ousted. The means of ousting was through not being fed. You'll have to leave if you're not being fed. But also, the Lord said, you cannot eat by bread by itself. And so, that's for some of us brothers and sisters. They had to leave their homes and their houses because they lacked love. Not just love of the Father and the Lord, but love of the bread of a brother or sister. And that's sad. I know a lady tonight that became homeless in a situation. See this kitty cat? You know, it's a sad situation. So let me focus. So this lady's like Dolly Parton. She pulls up. I call her Dolly Parton with a gun. She pulls up because I was fixing my vehicle here. And um, so she's actually coming back. So I have to leave. So anyway. No, it's not her. It's, it's somebody else. But anyway. So here's the deal. She's a security guard. She said, I'll take a gun if these, if these, anybody tries to attack me or drugs. She said, I'm a security guard here. And, uh, or my, my dog will bite him before he gets there. Okay. So here's the thing is, I call her dollar partner of guns cause she's a tough lady and, uh, you know, security guards as ladies is, it was unheard of back in the day. And, uh, so anyway, I'm trying to stay focused, I'm trying on the keys. Anyway, cause I keep moving. It's getting late. My point is this though. Oh, I said somewhere. So there's a bunch of stuff over there. I loaded my vehicles. It had like um, blankets and other things. Somebody's cussing. I gotta watch my back. Father in heaven, please calm these people in the name of the Lord. Why focus here and get a word out behind me? Hey, Father, send some angels and protect this area from heaven above and earth below. I'm hearing some cussing and I don't want to see any gunshots or fighting because then the officer getting tangled in that and I'm too tired. Hey, Father, so you know, you guys, you guys pray. Praying is important. Take care of the situation. Send the love of the Father and the Lord in his hearts. Send some angels. In the name of the Lord, that died on the cross for us and loves us. Amen. Okay. So, folks, here, this pole, the police had to put a pole in here to keep the druggies from going back and forth with this fence. They said it's going over the residences. You know, keep them, keep them from, there's a pole that they put in there 
Somehow the pole keeps him from climbing. I don't know this. <laughs> I didn't know a pole. They said that pole, the fence was, I asked her the fence at it. She said, no, the fence was there. But they stuck that pole in there because they're coming to that corner. Probably because the pole keeps him from, you know, digging around the corner or something. So the police had to do that because it's actually city property, she told me. Anyway, uh, about 10 minutes ago, a guy asked me if I had any G. I had no idea what G was. It's a term for meth. Said sorry, brother. So father prayed that uh, that drug addiction. Oh my gosh, let's make a noise. That drug addiction goes away for that young man. Cause he's a nice guy. Said he wanted to be an artist. Like that.